<sighs> I am really bad at uploading. Like, really, really bad. Um, Dotson's good to go. Um, and my gym is all torn apart right here. And that's what this video is going to be about. Um, now, if you're watching this, you may have a Jimny stateside and you don't want to drive it on the highway because 55 miles an hour is like 46, 4700 RPMs. Uh, cool little truck. The uh, turbo makes a little bit of power. Mine only has yeah, 141,000 on her. But um, you don't want to be going down the highway 50, 60 miles an hour at that high of RPMs. So, I did some research, found out that these rears are nearly identical to the Samurai rears, um, and that's a big fucking lie. So, <laughs> they're actually identical to the SJ410s, which were sold until 85. I don't know if they sold them stateside or not. Um, but going off what I thought, that they were identical to Samurai rears, I was like, oh, I can just get some Samurai ring and pinions and throw them in the rear, uh, third member, and be good to go. So I don't know how to set backlash, preload, none of that stuff. I took it to a local shop. Uh, they let me take the third member out and just bring them the ring pinion third member. And, uh, you know, save myself a little bit of money. Anyway, all this is pretty basic. You got the four bolts right here, your brake lines, um, all the bolts around the third member. Pop that out, pull your axles out, blah, blah, blah. You can do new axle seals, bearings while you're in here, do your brakes, whatever. Meat and potatoes of the video, what you guys came here for, is how to fit Samurai Gears. If I can do this one-handed into this thing, into your Jimny third member. Well, I kind of want to set on that. So, what you will need from a Samurai is this piece right here. Uh, the one for the Jimny will not slide over the pinion gear that goes in. Uh, that's too big, so you need one from a Samurai. So what I did, I had a spare third member housing laying on the other side. I don't know from what year Samurai, that's the only thing. I don't know if they changed the later models, like 91, 92, newer, or 89 and a half and newer. But I took my Samurai third member housing, which was empty, no gears in it, put it in my rear, uh, made sure it fit, all the bolt holes lined up, put the pinion flange uh, up to my drive shaft, make sure that fit. And then I was like, all right, you know what? We'll see if it fits. So I take it up there. He popped this guy off of the Samurai uh, Bear third member I had, slid it over, and because the gears and uh, ring and pinion were meant for a Samurai, this works with it. So if you want lower gearing, um, I believe these came with, I think someone told me 488s and 512s. I had the 512s in this, and I went down to 457s, which for a Samurai is an upgrade. Samurais are like 373, I think, or 382, 383, something like that. Um, so these are an upgrade for a Samurai for more uh, shorter gears, but this would be a taller gearing for a Jimny. So you want to be able to drive your Jimny on the street like me. Um, really clean Jimny. I'm not going to be off-roading this. I mean, here and there, but not like my Samurai. It's rust free, it's got AC, it's just too good of a shape. You need this piece from a Samurai, order yourself some gears, and then a rebuild kit which will come with your shims and everything you need um, to set the backlash, preload, whatever, all that stuff. And I, I think if this works out for me and brings me down to an RPM that I like on the highway, then I'm going to do it with my front because they should be the same. And uh, unless you're off-road, you'll have slip. Um, because the gearing ratios won't be the same. So this will be 457 and 512 in the front. So if I'm off-roading, then that one's going to want to slip and uh, turn more. Yeah, turn more than the rear, which isn't good. Uh, if you're on the street, that's how you break shit. Um, so if this works out for me, it gives me a good RPM on the highway that I like, I'll probably pull the front one and do the same exact thing that I just did with this one. Maybe try to do it myself. <sighs> Hope that made sense. Um, Leave a comment if you have any questions. And I believe I'm the first one in the U.S. to do this with a Jimny. So that's kind of cool. It's uh, June 18th, 2021.